You guys did the premiere of the film at Riverside Church. John Lewis said that that was MLK's best speech in his opinion. So for both of you guys, why was that such a critical speech for him and how amazing was it to show the film at that church? Well, for a couple of things, the reason like it's, he knew that it was so sensitive, this speech. He couldn't, he was really great at just winging it. We have great stories where they'll say, uh, Dorothy Cotton says, he can wake him up like 20 minutes before and he'll just like kind of wake up and, and give a stem wind of a speech. <laughs> This one was different. This one was written and rewritten. Harry Belafonte's got great talks about uh, old drafts. The old notes, like, right? He swan yeah. dives into the into into the wastebasket to get his notes. Um, so this one, he knew he had to be very careful about everything he said. But then on top of that, then he's but he adds his flourish is probably one of the greatest speakers in the history of mankind, right? So those put together in the venue of this one of the most iconic churches in in, in America. Uh, really changed everything. And then the fact that he died a year later to right. the day is just, you, it's, it's incredible. And Peter, it's such a beautiful church too, to show the film there must have been awesome for you. It, it was, we, we knew it would be a spiritual experience if we had it there. And I, I, I gotta give HBO a lot of credit. It, it required building an enormous stage at, in the nave. It meant setting up a 40 foot screen and it meant a sound system that, that could allow you to hear a movie in an echoey chamber that wasn't designed for that. I, I, uh, I, it, it, was, it was two days after uh, Dr. King's granddaughter had, had spoken out in the March in, Was on, in Washington. And, and I told the story there that I was struck by her smile, that when she smiled after, say, enough, after saying enough is enough, she gave this broad grin, which was the exact same smile of Martin Luther King. And I just kind of superimposed the two over my head and felt uh, in, in front of my face and, and realized that he was kind of speaking to us in some kind of spiritual way.